Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're in the FA18C. It's late July 2020. There's been lots of changes in the T-Pod, the JDAM, the JSAL in the last few weeks. And I've been asked to do a video specifically on how can we ripple eight J JDAMs or JSALs, either work basically the same, while using the T-Pod to designate. So we can still ripple eight JDAMs or JSALs easily using pre-planned mode, using lat long, and we can use waypoint designation as well if you had uh, eight waypoints set, which is pretty unlikely but possible. But to do it on the fly using TOO mode with the T-Pod is now much more difficult, but it is still possible. So I'd like to show you the procedure as it is now July 2020. Thank you for IMO for showing me this. And for this video, I'm already going to assume that you are proficient in the JDAM and the JSAL and you know how to do all the controls because otherwise this can be a very long video. So we're just going to blast through it. Make sure air to ground's on. Make sure our flur's on. We're going to set our flur up very quickly. We're eight conveniently packed targets down in the combat zone. I'm going to put waypoint one on just to get my T-Pod in the area. Bunch of guys down there. Assign TDC narrow field of view, zoom in, and uh, I think that'll do. Move it to our first target there, and that's gonna do for now. In the meantime, I'm gonna set our JDAM up. I'm gonna set all four stations. So there's eight we uh, weapons here, two on each station. I'm gonna set them all to TOO, as I'm sure you were expecting. That's all four stations set to TOO. We're gonna set our e -fu electronic fuse for all of them to instant. I'm then going to go to JDAM display. I'm going to set our release type to manual. I'm next going to go to mission. I'm going to populate the data in our first station three by ensuring TDC is assigned and pressing TDC depress. Boom, done. Created a target point. So that set this first JDAM T001 on station three up with that data. Now, this is where it changed. This is where the T-Pod and the JDAM and the JSAL change. The next thing we have to do, and we can't find any other way around this, is to nose will steer to unlock the target. So nose will steer to unlock the target. I am going to get TOO2, so this is essentially the second bomb, if you like, on that station there. Obviously, if you only needed one bomb per station, this would be ten times easier, but you guys want eight, so eight it is. Uh, next, we're going to get back to the area, and this is what's so difficult. So we're going to waypoint redesignate, and we're going to go and find a new guy. It's going to be that guy there, and we're going to redesignate with T002. So there you go, TTC depress. That's done. Nose will steer out again. That sets T001 and T002 of station three up. Next, we're going to step to station eight and set T001 up. So uh, waypoint designate. Find a relevant body. TTC depress and no steer and you can start to see the pattern emerging now 202 waypoint designate could you actually do this in real combat probably not but this is what you guys wanted so this is what you get designate check up the to 2 no will steer next station t001 waypoint designate uh, number five fucking count there bing Bang. Roger Welshy. Unfortunately, I've got to work. Two, three, four, five, six. Thumb. Next. Just talking to the stream while we're doing this. Done. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bang, bang, and T002, and over there, ping, and nose will steer at the end. So we now should have eight different points populated in T001 and T002 for all the stations. So now what we're going to do, we've, now we've got our data in there, nose will steer back out of there, we're going to return, we're going to say what bombs do we actually want to operate for dropping, two, three, seven and eight return and they're all selected currently on TOO2 I left them on all on TOO2 so we're going to drop TOO2 first then we'll go around and drop TOO1 
Uh, just check everything out, otherwise it's cool. Yep, we're looking good. We're going to turn the pump pause off. We're going to have a quick bit of revision on our zones. If we look down here, if you remember, we've got in law, in range, launch parameters here. We've got eyes law in zone here, which allow us to put extra uh, functionality that's coming to the bombs later. And we've got RLA here the minimum range. We're going to wait all the way to Isla just because it's good practice for the upcoming functionality for the Hornet and I'm going to press and hold the weapons release button rather than pressing it four times. Okay and check we're in zone and we are. Press and hold. Whee. What we're going to do now is we're going to get our guys and we're going to go back to mission. We're going to change to T001, step T002, step T003, step Step. I'm going to return. Beautiful. Already in zone. Send them out. Victory roll! It's incredibly awkward now, that's the way. And they're probably going to change it again. This is the ninth JDAM video that I've done since they've come out because they keep changing it. It's just how it is. We're just going to have to suck it up. This is the way it stands at the moment. Let me know when they change it again and I'll just redo the video. But for now, valuable humans, watch the fireworks. Bun, do, 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 do! Eight times destructions! How about that? I hope that was useful and see you later.